it's a lot of things in our neighborhood that can turn you left or right. Um, and you just have to be committed to stand on the right path because it so easily can, can steer you wrong. Ice Cube has been pretty active on social media lately, taking to Instagram and Twitter to stand up against matters like police brutality and racism with all the chaos going on right now. Although the rapper has always been online, he's usually showing off his sense of humor. Lavender body wash make my pores tingle. If you've been wondering where Ice Cube spends most of his time these days, well, when he's at home that is, we've got you covered. Officially on the internet. What the hell? What's going on, man? Why you got to get me over the nipple? Man, next time put me on the on the muscle, man. Not the damn nipple. But respect, man. You must be a fan. Appreciate. Apparently he has two California mansions, one in Encino and one in Marina Del Rey. O'Shea Jackson, who we all know as Ice Cube, is a rapper, actor, and filmmaker. His lyrics on NWA's 1988 album Straight Outta Compton led to the outbreak of gangster rap, and his solo albums in the early 90s rank high in political rap. Of course, alongside Eazy and Dr. Dre and the rap group NWA, he found fame, and for that, Ice Cube is considered a rap pioneer. Um, well, we're gonna get to what we're here for, man. We're here to celebrate 30 years, America's Most Wanted, Classic album, um, you know, even that picture was crazy for the time. And the picture was, uh, back in the day, it was, it was Photoshop, it was new. So this was new, them doing these layers. I uh, remember. Considering their early music, which Ice wrote most of the lyrics, no less, was one of the first to push boundaries, it's no surprise that his public voice is still super outspoken. Street knowledge is a term to me. It means letting the streets know what the government, politics, police, whatever, authority figures are, are doing up to uh, exposing them, and also letting who, if the politicians are listening, letting them know what the streets think and how things are going, and hopefully there's some understanding that can be made in all this. The versatile rapper would then shape himself into a movie star with Boys in the Hood and Friday, and even went on to direct some. Of course, you all know the rest of Ice Cube's resume, like his roles in comedy and producing Straight Out of Compton, so I think we can agree he's kept busy over the years. Hello? Uh, no, well, he's a... Uh... He's actually out right now. Oh, okay. I'll make him aware. Of course, the rap legend who's 50 at the time of this recording has amassed quite the fortune. Ice Cube's estimated net worth stands at about $160 million, so of course he's living a life of luxury. Hey guys, it's Karen today. We're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Some of you guys have requested this one, and I think it was time we definitely did one on Ice Cube because he's an OG and his home is pretty nice. We'll look at where the rapper lives, including his gorgeous mansion in Marina Del Rey and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. And let's get into this video. First off, we know that Ice Cube has owned a longtime family home with his wife Kimberly Woodruff, which they bought back in June 1996. This house they managed to keep notoriously private, at least the interior, that is. It wasn't always like that, though. Pre-internet and social media days, this mansion did in fact get broken into. It was back in 1997, and apparently the couple hadn't even fully moved in yet, but MTV reported that. Two gunmen broke into an Encino, California home owned by rapper Ice Cube early Thursday and lifted electronics gear and a van. I guess after that incident, Ice Cube didn't want anyone knowing what his home was like. Anyways, what we do know about their longtime family mansion is that it's located in Encino, and they purchased the Valley home for just over 2.3 million, but these days it would be valued closer to 5 million. It's nestled between several other mansions and set far off the street with a long and winding driveway. From the aerial view, we can see the largest state has a main house as well as a detached guest house on the property. We also know that Ice Cube's Encino mansion spans 7,880 square feet and has seven beds and seven baths. 
Also on his property, there's a large pool and spa, a grassy lawns, a ton of patio space, and a full-size basketball court. So we know that Encino Home is where Ice Cube has spent most of his time, and it doesn't look like the family's thinking of unloading that property anytime soon. More recently though, in 2016, it was reported that the rapper bought a new mega mansion on a canal from the action star Jean-Claude Van Damme, best known for Bloodsport and Street Fighter. Ice Cube's beautiful mansion is located in Marina Del Rey, a small beachside community in Los Angeles. It's close to Venice Beach and the port here is North America's largest man-made harbor, home to 5,000 boats or more. The modern home was built in 2011 right on the banks of the Grand Canal, which is definitely one of its selling points right in the ritzy and exclusive Silver String community. It set the rapper back 7.25 million, giving Van Damme a nice profit considering he only spent 6 million. Ice Cube said when he bought the place that it was just to host parties, saying, You know, this right here is for the homies. Everybody can come over and hang out. You know, enjoy the whole house. I'm not sure if that's still the case now, but it was supposed to be a little getaway home. I guess leaving the Encino house for the fam. Despite wanting a second mansion to have his buddies over, he said he loves living with his family. It's cool being famous, it's cool doing movies and records and all, living out your dreams, but if I had to do it alone, it, it wouldn't, you know, I don't think you'd see the man that you see right here, right now. Uh, so to have their support in this journey, it just makes me better and it's my finest accomplishment. But let's see what this Marina Del Rey mansion looks like. Inside Ice Cube's mansion spans 7,574 square feet of living space with 6 beds and 11 baths. It's referred to as a trophy property and it's a modern style home with important materials throughout. Although it's not in a super secluded spot like Ice Cube's main family home, it's right on the water and even offers views to the ocean. A glass enclosed staircase and an elevator connect the three story home and there are 13 rooms in total. The main living areas in the rapper's waterfront home have a signature indoor outdoor California vibe since they merge into a huge deck terrace that overlooks the harbor. There's a professional grade chef's kitchen with a breakfast bar, a formal dining room with space to entertain, as well as a roomy home office with built-ins. Not to mention a cozy and more formal living room with fireplace and second family room with a full bar. Other features of Ice Cube's Marina Del Rey mansion include a full home movie theater, a gym, and even a poor concrete and glass wine cellar. There are six fireplaces total in the mansion, including one in the master suite and even one in one of the spacious bathrooms beside the tub. Most of the six ensuite bedrooms are located upstairs, and Ice Cube's master suite here is obviously the biggest with an attached spa like bath and walk in. Pocket doors off each level of the home open to terraces overlooking the canal. One of the decks we can see in the listing photos comes equipped with space to lounge, a built-in TV, as well as a fireplace. If you don't want to go to the beach area and prefer no sand, you can head up to the rapper's rooftop deck with swimming pool. Of course, you'll also get even better views from here, a 360 of Marina Del Rey, including the city and the ocean. So clearly we've seen more of this Marina Del Rey mansion than Ice Cube's longtime Encino home, but we know he still owns both of these properties. Before I wrap up this video, let's take a look at something else Ice Cube has on his property, his car collection. The rapper has said about his outlook on cars that a lot of people will spend more on their car than they would on their house. It starts with sneakers, then maybe bikes, and then cars. They're a big status symbol and a big signature on your personality. But he also explained that he likes the look of a car more than the other features. He isn't one of those people who goes in and changes things like the exhaust. He just buys them how he wants them. And it seems that Ice Cube likes his cars to be fast and luxurious. In his collection, he has a Rolls Royce Ghost, and he says there's nothing like the feeling one of those gives you. He has a couple of Bentleys, including an Arnage and a flying spur model for his wife, a Porsche Panamera, and a Cadillac Escalade for when he needs something bigger. Ice also has one of the newer Corvette Stingrays, which he really likes. I'm not sure if he has more top of the line cars in his collection, but it's clear they're all a far cry from his first car, which was a 1969 Volkswagen Beetle. So now we've taken a look at where the legendary rapper Ice Cube calls home, like you guys requested, so what did you think? I know we couldn't see much of his main Encino mansion, but it looks pretty nice from the photos and looking at the property. Not to mention his waterfront Marina Del Rey house is both modern and classy at the same time. I think my favorite part is the rooftop pool because that would feel like a total vacation. Be sure to let me know what you guys think about Ice Cube's place down in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me over on Instagram if you want to chat and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!